left is strafe left, and then all the way is roll, which that, <laughs> that feels really nice, and I really dig that. So I'm strafing and then rolling. You have both of them. Right, Star Citizen 3.0 Steam Controller Profile. Uh, there's quite a bit to this, so please, please excuse me for the longer video, but yeah, there's a lot to go over. So okay, I wanted to... let's go in here first. So <laughs> you can see that there's a lot. Uh, so I wanted to make it as feature complete as possible, so I started with... I started with giving it a, you know, a fully featured um, on foot profile. So you're going to start on foot. Now, just right off the bat, if you need to switch, hit select. You're going to hear a beep, and then the right pad is your set control change. So you have on foot, flight, and ground vehicles. On foot and flight are the main ones, and I will concede right now that the ground vehicle set is pretty bare bones that's because I don't have a ground vehicle so, so so that one is a little bit of a work in progress but so okay 3.0 things that I wanted to support is um, you have mouse scroll control for infantry for your um, avatar speed and well boy this, this is this is more rambly than usual okay but Explaining a little bit, I did not go with any gamepad controls because through thorough testing, I did discover that this game doesn't really support uh, simultaneous mouse and gamepad, and I wanted the mouse. You'll get peculiar camera snapping. I actually did a video about this a long time ago in an older version, and it's still there. Like, So that is why this is all mouse and keyboard. But for infantry stuff, you're gonna you know click. I also went. Uh, we have a dual trackpad set up, so click once to sprint, and that is. Uh, ooh, I'm getting ahead of myself. That's actually that is a game change that I made. Just so you have everything set up the way I have it here. The only thing I changed was make sprint toggle yes. And in key bindings for free look, this is just a 3.0 peculiarity. In camera control, I made advanced camera control modifier Z. They had that as F4. And what the reason for that is um, if you're free looking on your ship with Z, you want to be able to zoom in and out. And you could not zoom in and out unless you were also holding F4, which is, it's just a bug. So anyways, that's it. I just I added Z as camera modifier and made the sprint toggle, so you can click that once and you sprint. But now, if you're walking and you just want to change your speed, click and hold left... Click and hold the left pad and then the right pad and you still, you have gyro, so you can look around. I don't know if you can even hear the haptic, but yeah, I'm able to, I just give it a flick. Flick on the right pad and I can change that mouse scroll. Which feels pretty good. So, okay, we have that. Uh, right grip. Right Paddle is a uh, change of view. Left grip is crouch and then hold it for prone. And then, uh, yeah. You can modify that stuff with the left bumper. Hold the left bumper and then you have Q and E and up and down for EVA, but you also have Q and E on a far tilt. There it is. 
Okay. It's all right. Real exciting stuff. <laughs> the uh, left stick is mouse scroll up and down. If you hold it, it's a turbo. Left will be your Moby Glass. I'm just an Arena Commander right now, so that's not going the right way. And then right is uh, change the fire mode of your gun. But how do I get my gun? Push Y. That turns the left, or that turns the right pad into a weapon wheel, weapon and equipment wheel. Now this, like I can still move around. If I don't want anything, I just go to cancel and let off the pad, and then everything's back to normal. So I would go to sidearm, and then I just let go over that. Okay, so it's it's not a click on that; it's just a touch release. And you can switch between all your weapons. Heal, oxygen, scan mode. I don't know what the hell that is, but I wanted to support it. <laughs> so. Light. Your gadget. So that is all accessed via the Y button. B button right now is just crouch. That's actually kind of a redundancy. I'm kind of keeping that open for the future because I put... I put that over on the paddle. A is jump. Um, what else do I need to go over on this? So your modifier is on the left bumper. Grenade would be the right bumper. So regular press is throw your grenade. Double press to cycle the type of grenade. Change view. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, um... Well, let's, we can go in here, like, adjustments on foot, that's when I hold in. And then you can see, really, the only change I made was just giving that a scroll wheel. So if you wanted to go in here and look at, look at all the stuff. And, like, here's the radial menu for all the stuff we have. There is also a... Yeah, that's, um... So I have gyro on with touch, but aim aim down sights, gyro's always on. And then for EVA use, hold in A, like to jump up, gyro's always on. X to reload, hold it to holster. Uh, so we had... Tap select was to change your sets. Hold it. That brings up a social menu. Like show chat, shows 2D cursor, contacts. Emotes start. I was tempted to try to put in, put in the emotes, but um, I'm not worried with that. But this, this menu is a little different that you'll just have to... Like if I just let go, it's not selecting it. It's because I'm still holding in select, which is the mode shift. Now if I let it go, I select nothing. So I would want to be hovering over the keyboard, and then let go. And then I have the keyboard up. Alright, so I think that's everything for infantry stuff. Really, what I was excited about was that... Like, that feels really nice, adjusting your speed. With just flicking. Oh, um, click. Click right pad is melee, and then double tap it, or hold it is your interaction. I prefer the double tap. Or I can hold. So that's your interaction menu, so let's go... Let's get in there. Okay, and then just remember you're going to want to hit select and then switch to flight, and it's going to tell you switch to flight. Uh, well, I guess <laughs> a little after the fact. Yeah, all the, These are all custom icons. I have the download link will be in the description. So, all right, we're going to go 
So this is something, too, where it's like, I didn't necessarily put all of this as short. Like, not everything is in here. I have played, you know, I've tested a lot around a lot. I've fiddled around with it, and I kind of catered it to what I felt was the most important stuff. I kind of like having this interaction menu, so. Aegis combat assist activated. Systems green. So to strafe up, I want to, it's sort of this similar with the um, infantry. I'm going to click in that, and then that's my complete. adjustment. So it's, I'm holding in the left pad, and then tapping up is up. Down. Landing complete. Launch complete. Landing complete. Launch complete. And that, it's a little peculiar here. Uh, right is strafe forward. Left is strafe back. Up and down. You really, I mean, I don't use that very often. So mainly, landing gear, A is landing gear up, it's okay. You have all your, uh, you know, WASD stuff here. So we tap forward, let's just, we don't want to go too fast right now because we're showing stuff off. Left is strafe left and then all the way is roll, which that, <laughs> that feels really nice and I really dig that. So I'm strafing and then rolling. You have both of them. Strafe left, roll left. It's also on the extreme tilts for the roll. Afterburner is also gonna be that adjustment where you click in, but it's modifying the left pad. So I'm going forward, click, that's my afterburner. Brake is click in and down. So that's a little peculiar, but once you get the hang of it, it feels really nice. So that would be in flight adjustments. That's clicking in the left pad. So when that is happening, we have afterburner and space brake. And then over on this pad, strafe up, strafe down, back and forward. Left bumper is ready. click once to cycle ready. your countermeasures. Long press will be to launch the countermeasure. And then here, this is where the mouse scroll turbo comes in really nice. So you just hold up or down on the left stick to zoom in and out. Left, left will be your Moby Glass. Right would be the Star Map. Uh, right bumper is reticle focus, which I actually find personally to be better than just the enemy target. That's just going to be whatever you're looking at. And then holding that will be to focus on that target. Missile launch is a full pull. Full pull to lock, full pull hold to launch. But then you can use X to target, single press to target, double press to cycle the target, long press to uh, target friendly. But I mean, you have the reticle and focus too. Click, click the left stick. Oh, not here. I'm at the end of the simulation. Click the left stick to decouple. So I'm still moving to that point. But I can look around. Recouple. Long hold of the stick to look behind you. B, B is quantum travel. Double click it to cycle your safeties. G safe and comm stab. Proximity alert. Head. 
we, this is all pretty self-explanatory. Match speed, look ahead is your uh, the reticle mode. Weapon priority, shield priority, avionics priority. Those all seem a little buggy right now, but I wanted them in there. Power on and off your lights, and I kept that scan mode in there. That might just be ship dependent, and I don't have a ship that can do that yet. <laughs> I, I don't know. So, okay, I think that's pretty much all of it. I know this was very, very rambly, but I just, I've been excited. I've been working on it and testing it a lot. And I wanted to show it off, get it out there. I know this is a very dry video, but I'm just trying to explain like pretty much everything you need is in here. It's just, there's a lot. And I basically threw out their controller Scheme. Like, I, I don't know what the hell they're thinking. They feel really weird. So I just went with whatever felt good to me. So if you're coming at it using the controller, you're it, it's going to feel pretty weird. But give it a chance. I've tested this a lot, and it I feel like it all makes sense. Like, they did a bunch of modify, like modifying everything. You will notice I don't have a get out of the seat button. Well, that's like I was saying. I prefer I prefer just using the. Oh shit! That's what I get. I was rambling too much. Um, I felt like there was something else I was gonna say. Just because there's so much to it that I forgot something. But yeah, I, as I was saying though, like I just I kind of prefer using the interaction system instead of making keyboard shortcuts to everything. Like ejections right there, so I'm I feel like that's pretty easy just to get down to it instead of having a, a button and then having to remember what the button was with a mode shift and yeah. Oh right, I forgot about that. I knew I was forgetting something. We have boost and gimbal lock. And that reminds me too, in the on foot, a full pull of the left trigger is uh, hold your breath. So, just remember that. <laughs> so now they're locked in the center. And then uh, the left grip is a uh, boost, which which you'll probably end up using a lot. Lets you turn faster. These you shouldn't really need to work worry about the flight Q and E. That's just that's through here when you go left or right. It's applying your Q and E rolls, which are separate action layers. But yeah, ground vehicles, like I said, it's that is bare bones because I don't have a land vehicle, so it's not not something I could really test, and I didn't want to guess too much. But I just put basic like triggers for the acceleration. Yeah, I th do believe that'd be all of it. So just remember, whenever you get in and out of your vehicle, you're going to want to switch your control set because it's quite a bit different. There's a lot of peculiar things that you'll need, like changing your speed with that scroll wheel. Which, I mean, you could still do it with the, uh, the scroll wheel that's on the left stick, but I wanted to give it a modification so you can change that speed while you're still moving. Which, to me, feels really smooth. You just walk forward, click that in, and flick your other thumb to adjust your speed. So, okay. Very dull, very dry, very boring video, but I wanted to make sure I covered all of that stuff. I will upload this profile, and I am, you know, I am looking forward to actually playing the game, and I'll show you this in action. This was just, this is just a total... Let me cover the controls, because there's a lot to it. But I have been testing it, and it's playing really nice. I'm, I'm digging the feel of it. 
I'm not a pure combat PvP kind of guy anyways, but I feel like it's going to let you hold your own. You know, you can do the... do your skid and... See you right there, I'm on the wrong. Like, you can do your skid and roll. You know, it's letting you be pretty responsive. You can easily boost and put your brakes on. So yeah, man, that's it. I will uh, I'll put the links in the description. You should be able to find this profile uploaded to the community. I will uh, export, you know, if we go to browse. Once you add it, it should show up in here. And then you will need to download my icons. I will uh, put I'll, I'll put the information descriptions. You know, read me instructions in the description. It's not too hard. You just have to dump some PNG icons into the Steam install with the other icons. So these fancy ones will show up. Now we can start playing the game. <laughs> I will see you around. <laughs>